You know, a lot of people wish they could be discovered on one of the many reality singing shows, but most of us never get that chance. But thanks to a TikTok video, Ricky Pearl's son Blake may have a new future ahead of him. Blake actually pranked his grandmother and learned a song on the piano and then surprised her with it. That video went viral. Take a look. No, you mind if I play the piano? It's worth a shot. <laughs> In case you didn't know Baby, I'm crazy about you Now I'll be lying if I say that I So long before that video was a thing, he was trying to follow in his dad's footsteps and really almost did, but that plan had to take a different turn. Here's part of my conversation with Blake Prohl, who may be on his way to becoming an idol. In case you didn't know, baby, I'm crazy about you. You know, I always loved music, but I didn't do any singing or playing instruments or anything, uh, you know. My family was just all sports, so I would just play football, basketball, baseball year round and didn't think to do anything else or wanted to do anything else. So. And I think my mom has a little note um, when I was like three years old and I told her um, music lives in me or something, which is like super random. And she was like, what? But uh, it's kind of crazy, like full circle moment, I guess. I had just gotten to Minnesota. I had signed with the Vikings. It was right when I got there, I had felt like I had just finally, you know, got to my dream and I got injured and the injury was like not a, a normal injury. It was an injury that, you know, required lots of surgeries and brainstorming between surgeons and doctors. And they told me they weren't sure if I'd be able to play again. So that was really, really hard at the time. Um, I was like really, really down in the dumps, you know, kind of depressed and music like kind of like saved me. It kind of came out left field. You know, for me, I believe it was God. Um, and you know where his hand is in my life but i just really just kind of followed it and started like posting for some reason it was very random like it doesn't make any sense kind of like started going viral and gained some traction and uh here we are about two two and a half years later i got actually a direct message by somebody from their team and they're like hey like we'd love for you to go through the audition and process you know um auditions are coming up and honestly i was like heck no like, I can't even sing in a room, like, with my family. Like, this is scary. You know what I mean? This is super scary. But I just remember saying, I don't want to miss this opportunity because I'm afraid, because I'm, like, fearing, you know, failing. And so I said, you know, let's just do it. Screw it. I've watched American Idol since I was younger, and you're always like, I don't know how these people are singing in front of them. Like, this is crazy. Well, I remember walking in that room, Ryan Seacrest opened the door and I like walk in and I'm like, wow. I mean, you can tell in the audition, I, I started getting like a little choked up because I was like, it all kind of like hit me in that moment. I felt like it wasn't even real until they said that. And they were giving me all these like amazing compliments and things I just didn't even believe about myself, which was like really, really powerful and something that I need, especially in this like new career that I'm chasing. You know, I just hope I can keep going forward and keep like proving myself and getting better because the goal from this was just to grow as a musician and learn, you know, be a sponge from like amazing artists and even other kids who are my age who are chasing the same dream. You know, you learn so much just being in a room like that. So, oh, Al, that's awesome. He's such a great guy. And, you know, we, we spent, an, uh, that's a fraction of the time that I spent talking with him. But um, what's interesting is that he, I said, so you never sang, you weren't the kid running around singing at your house? He goes, no, never. And he said, but that little note my mom always thought was funny. She had said to him, she wrote it in his baby book. She said, do you like music, Blake? He said, yes, mama, it's in me. Wow, but he was so three. cute. So then his whole life dedicated to football and made right? it to the NFL, then the big injury. Mm -hmm. And he said, I just had to redefine myself. And he said, I was playing around with my grandma. I learned four chords on mm -hmm. a piano. That's it. Four chords that were in this one country song he liked. So he chorded his mm -hmm. way through it and sang it. And then his grandma looked up and said, you can sing. So when that video went viral and American Idol called and he's 
he's going to Hollywood. So. It's just a beautiful testimony, it you is. know, how you think you're going down one path and then something, something that, that, you know, happens that you didn't think would happen and then it reroutes you into a whole nother journey. And it just teaches you to not give up because you never know where life will take you. And I love how he said it took him, wasn't it two years after that before well, this his, kind of jump His started? injury happened and then he started singing and playing guitar and trying to play the piano just to have mm -hmm. something to do mm -hmm. and then it blew up and you should see Katy Perry when he, and during his audition Chills. she looks up she was looking at her arm because yeah. her hair was dead and she went over and said would you sign this because one day you're gonna oh, that's so well, I got sweet. someone to root for for that's American right. Idol oh, so and we wish you the best talk about two talents guys yeah right Blake Pearl yep <laughs> remember that name <laughs> can't even sing in the shower <laughs>